In this video, we will learn and study about right triangle and trigonometric functions. We will try to use the fundamental identities of trigonometric functions. We will try to evaluate, simplify, and rewrite trigonometric expression. First, we will show how we will get the ratios. It depends on the where the theta of a triangle. So we have a right triangle, which is this one is 90 degrees, and this one is our theta. We denote this one as A, B, and C. So from this one, we can have six ratios we can obtain. So we have now as B over C, we have A over C, we have B over A, then we have A over B, C over A, and C over B. So the symbol theta is used for the ratio, okay? Used for the ratio of trigonometric function. So we obtain as well as sine, cosine, tangent, we have cotangent, second, and we have cosecant. Now, from this one, we can denote as sine theta, sine theta for the ratio of b over c. So therefore, that is b over c. For cosine, cosine is equals to a over c. And for tangent, we have tangent theta. So we have denote theta here. Therefore, you will have now as b over a. And this triangle, the sides A, B, and C, we refer as this one as we have A is for adjacent. So this side is adjacent. This side is opposite. And then we have the C is for the hypotenuse, which is, which is the longest side of the triangle. Now after that one, we can create now our trigonometric, we have identities as S, O, H, C, A, H, and T, O, A, but most commonly they say it's Sokatoa. Okay, so therefore we have now, so from here we'll just continue this one, we have C, S, C is equals to C over B, and then we have second, second, is equal to C over A and then we have now as cotangent theta is equals to A over B. When we are going to use the sides, the name of the sides, we can have now a sine theta equals to opposite, right? Opposite over the hypotenuse. That's the reason why we call that one as SOH. For cosine, Theta, we have now as A as adjacent over the hypotenuse. And then for tangent theta, we have O is for opposite and then A is for the adjacent. So these are the trigonometric identities that we need to remember. So we have the sine theta, cosine theta, tangent, cosecant theta, second theta, and cotangent theta. So why fundamental trigonometric identities can be used to simplify trigonometric expressions such as for the coefficient of fraction? So let's just try to learn about this one. So in the right triangle is what I said. We have sine theta opposite over hypotenuse, cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent over is equals to opposite over adjacent. And then the reciprocal for that one, cos second, hypotenuse over, okay, opposite hypotenuse over adjacent, and then we have cotangents adjacent over hypotenuse. So let's try to compute now the trigonometric functions of acute triangles. 
So we have the Q triangle, we have the special triangle, which is 45, 45, and 90, which gives us the same side because they have the same, we have angle, so therefore we have now side and side as well. So side, angle, side. So therefore you will have now, we can build with this lens for side. So therefore, in the triangle, so sine 45, we can determine now here sine 45, cosine 45, and tangent 45, right? Sine 45, what is that? Opposite over the hypotenuse. So therefore, you will have now as rationalized the denominator, so therefore square root of 2 over 2. Cosine 45, the same, right? 1 over square root of 2, so therefore that is square root of 2 over 2. And then tangent 45 is equals to 1, okay? So tangent for Tangent is equal to 1, okay, opposite over the adjacent. So you can flip this to get other three trigonometric functions. Next. What is the radian equivalent of 45? So we have pi over 4. So therefore, when you're going to go for this one with the radian form, so we will have second pi over 4. What is second? Second is the inverse of cos second, right? So therefore you will have now reciprocal of cos second. So therefore you will have square root of square root of 2 over 1, which is equal to square root of 2. Tangent. Tangent is equals to we have 1 over 1. Okay, so that is how we will get now the equivalent of second 45 and tangent 45. How about 30, 60, and 90? So we have 1, okay, 1 square root of 3 and 2, okay, so we have the opposite, which is 30 degrees, the side opposite, okay, we have 60 degrees, so 60, 30, and 90. Using Pythagorean theorem, we can get this one as 2. Let's try to get the functions of, we have, 60 degrees using triangle we have trigonometric equations so we have sine 60 sine 60 is sine 60 is opposite over hypotenuse so therefore square root of t over 2 cosine 1 over 2 tangent 60 we have square root of 3 over 1 or we say square root of 3 okay so okay, you can pause the video so that you can check the trigonometric we have functions and equivalent of this we have degrees how about let's say 30 60 and 90 so we can have now as okay 30 degrees 60 and 90 so we will have the opposite side of the 60 30 and 90 right so we have now square root of 3 here the longest side 1 and then 2 which is the hypotenuse therefore we can get now a sine 30 Sine 30 is equals to SOH, right? So opposite over hypotenuse, so therefore 1 over 2. Cosine 30 adjacent over the hypotenuse, square root of 3 over 2. And then tangent 30 is 1 over square root of 3. And then rationalize the denominator, we can have now square root of 3 over 3. Okay, so these are the special triangles. These are the sp special we have angles that you are going to use to solve for trigonometric identities so hopefully that we can memorize the special triangles then we can find easily what is sine 45 cosine 45 and sine 60 we can also find the radian equivalence of this angle so we have now pi over 4 45 pi over 6 30 and then pi over 3 is 60 so when the direction says find the exact value, you must know this value is not a decimal approximation that your calculator gives you. So therefore, in your calculator, it will give you the specific or we have answer, right? And that is in decimal point. But we need the exact value. So therefore, you have to make this one in radian form. So these are the uh, important things that you need to remember. Okay, important values that you need to remember. Sine theta, sine 30, sine 45, sine 60, sine 90, and then also the value of cosine. And then the tangent is equals to we have opposite over the adjacent. Okay, you can post the video so that you can get all the values. 
So what are the reciprocal identities? So these are the important reciprocal or identities that you need to remember as well. Sine u, 1 over cosecant or theta. Let's say sine theta, 1 over cosecant theta. Cosine, 1 over second. Tangent, 1 over cotangent. For CSC, so sine and CSC, cosine and second, tangent and cotangent. So that is we have you're going to remember for quotient identities you have tangent theta is equals to sine u over cosine u or cotangent which is the reciprocal of tangent so we have now cosine u and sine u so these are the important identities that we need to remember when we are going to prove trigonometric functions okay pythagorean identities so we have again Pythagorean identities to add to your formulas to remember. We have sine squared u plus cosine squared u equals to 1. And 1 plus tangent squared u equals to second squared u. And 1 plus cotangent squared u is equals to CSC squared u. So please try to remember all the formulas. In mathematics, it's not just only we have memorization in our day. You have to practice constantly so that you can remember all the things that you need to remember okay let's try some example finding trigonometric identities if theta is an acute angle and theta 3 over 4 find the values of trigonometric functions of theta so let's try to sketch first the triangle so it's the given is theta cosine what is cosine again we have cosine is c a h right so therefore the c cosine we have a is adjacent 3 over 4 so what is this side so using we have Pythagorean theorem we can find 3 squared plus this side which is the opposite so let's say the opposite side equals to 4 we have squared so therefore the opposite side squared is equal to 16 minus we have moved the other side to become minus 9 so therefore we get 7. So your answer now is equals to the opposite side is equals to square root of 7. So from here we can have the sine theta is equals to we have the opposite which is square root of 7 over 4 CSC CSC is equals to or CSC theta is equals to 4 over square root of 7 and then we have let's say tangent. What is tangent? So the opposite is square root of 7, square root of 7 over 3. So from this example, you can look now with the trigonometric function, which is SOH, CAH, and TOH. So for more examples and uh, problems related to trigonometric functions, so please always uh, like and share and also subscribe to this channel so that you will be updated of mathematical problems related to algebra and geometry and also trigonometry that's all for this lesson thank you so much and have a nice day everyone god bless